Did you know that eating this with sea mustard soup can lead to cancer and dementia? Sea mustard soup, a gift from the clean sea and the best natural nutrient in winter, has both good and bad food combinations. Eating healthy sea mustard soup is essential for your body, but if consumed with the wrong foods, it can harm your health. Therefore, we've prepared this. To prevent cancer and dementia, we'll reveal three foods that are the worst combination with sea mustard soup and three that are the best. We promise to continue delivering only the best health information. As the ocean water cools down in winter, it's hard to find nutritious seafood, but as it gets colder, the flavor, texture, and nutrients in some foods increase. Today's star, selected as a perfect space food, is sea mustard soup. Grown only in unpolluted clear waters, it was a royal offering in the past, known for its umami taste and deep sea aroma. You can enjoy it in sea mustard soup porridge or rice cake soup, or crispy fried in oil. Besides its delicious taste, its health benefits are remarkable. Composed of 95% water, it's a low-calorie, low-fat food, excellent for diets and rich in iron, surpassing even milk. It's also abundant in calcium and iodine, effective against knee pain and arthritis. Chlorella and sea mustard soup, giving it a deep green color, is known for its anti-cancer properties, making it a top wellness food. NASA even selected it as a representative space food for its balanced nutrients. But did you know that there are foods that can harm your health when eaten with sea mustard soup? Now, let's explore the three worst and best food combinations for cancer and dementia prevention with sea mustard soup. First, the worst combination with sea mustard soup is anchovies. With indoor and outdoor temperature differences in winter, many people experience dizziness and vertigo. Often, it's due to iron deficiency anemia. While many foods are known to be good for vascular health, something more important is needed. If blood is full of toxins, even clean blood vessels won't help. Oxygen-rich fresh blood is crucial, and that's where iron comes in, creating red blood cells to supply oxygen throughout the body. However, as we age, iron production decreases, especially in women, leading to severe fatigue and headaches. Thus, it's essential to consume iron, but excessive intake through supplements can cause stomach upset and cellular damage. Therefore, it's best to get iron from food. Surprisingly, sea mustard soup contains 40 times more iron than milk, making it the best iron supplement in winter. But, eating it with calcium-rich anchovies is counterproductive. Calcium and iron share the same absorption pathway, so they hinder each other's absorption, forming clumps and even hindering blood circulation and causing edema. Thus, avoid consuming anchovies and sea mustard soup together. Now, let's recommend the best combination with sea mustard soup, oysters. Many people enjoy sea mustard soup and oysters together in soups or pancakes and it's a fantastic combination. If you're concerned about bone and muscle health as you age, this combo is the perfect solution. NASA praised sea mustard soup for its balanced essential nutrients, especially its high protein content, with 20 G per 100 G, making it a top plant-based protein source. Its calcium content, five times that of milk, makes it ideal for bone and muscle health. But when combined with oysters, known as the milk of the sea, it creates a miracle. Oysters, rich in calcium and especially taurine, not only boost fatigue recovery and vitality but also move calcium in and out of muscle cells. Even if you consume a lot of protein and calcium, if they don't directly affect muscles and bones, they're useless. But the taurine in oysters activates the nutrients in sea mustard soup boosting muscle energy. Isn't that amazing? It's the power of food compatibility. So, 
to prevent sarcopenia and osteoporosis and maintain strong bones and muscles, be sure to eat sea mustard soup and oysters together. Second, the worst combination with sea mustard soup is wheat flour noodles and dough flakes. In cold weather, sea mustard soup noodles and dough flakes are popular for their taste, but they're not good for health. Have you heard that sea mustard soup is the best food for vascular health and toxin elimination? Its thin strands, only a tenth as thick as hair, are rich in dietary fiber, especially compared to other seaweeds like seaweed and kelp. Its sticky alginate captures bad cholesterol and blood vessels, expelling it from the body. Additionally, its potassium expels sodium from blood vessels, stabilizing blood pressure. This is why it was prescribed as a royal health tonic in ancient China. But, consuming it with high-calorie flour-based foods negates its benefits, as refined white flour increases cholesterol levels, rendering sea mustard soup useless. So, what should you eat with sea mustard soup? The best combination is potatoes. Instead of flour-based dishes, try potato dishes or pancakes using potato starch instead of frying batter. Recently, the remarkable anti-cancer properties of sea mustard soup have gained attention. The secret lies in its deep green color, thanks to the chlorophyll and chlorella, which eliminate inflammation causing free radicals and block cancer cell formation. Additionally, its slimy alginate promotes intestinal movement, making it effective against colitis and colon cancer. When combined with potatoes, it becomes a powerful anti-cancer agent. Potatoes, rich in vitamin C, enhance the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects of sea mustard soup and improve stomach and intestinal functions, resolving issues like gastritis and stomach cancer. Therefore, consuming sea mustard soup and potatoes together creates the ultimate anti-cancer diet. Lastly, the third worst combination with sea mustard soup is vinegar. Did you know that sea mustard soup wasn't always popular in Korea? Just over 20 years ago, it was considered a nuisance to seaweed farming and wasn't treated specially. But now, Thanks to its amazing health benefits, it's a sought-after tonic. However, in the past, hydrochloric acid was used to eliminate it. Here's the key, sea mustard soup is sensitive and doesn't grow well in slightly turbid water, thriving only in clean ocean waters. Acidic substances like hydrochloric acid dissolve it, and it's also sensitive to heat, disintegrating when cooked for too long. Hence, it's added at the end of cooking. Have you ever sprinkled vinegar on sea mustard soup to cut the fishy smell? It's sensitive to acidic substances like vinegar or lemon juice, so avoid combining them. Also, many consume sea mustard soup for hangover relief. Surprisingly, it contains three times more asparagin than bean sprouts, a common hangover remedy. This component detoxifies liver toxins, combating fatty liver, hepatitis, and liver cancer, and purifies blood vessels from viruses and fine dust. Therefore, always include sea mustard soup in your diet. Now, the best third combination with sea mustard soup is onions. For vascular health, remember three key things. Clean blood vessels, fresh blood circulation, and strong vessel walls. Sea mustard soup takes care of the first two, cleaning vessels and circulating blood. So, what's the best food for strengthening vessel walls? Onions. Quercetin in onions fortifies blood vessel walls. But the most important aspect is that both sea mustard soup and onions are alkaline foods. Why should you consume alkaline foods? Because they nourish beneficial gut bacteria, while acidic foods feed harmful bacteria like E. coli. When our bodies become acidic, inflammation occurs in blood vessels, making us susceptible to diseases and viruses, leading to weight gain. 
Surprisingly, both sea mustard soup and onions are alkaline, so consuming them together addresses inflammation, oxidation, and cancer prevention. Additionally, folate in sea mustard soup acts on the central nervous system, improving brain health, with onions enhancing this effect, making it crucial for dementia prevention. In summary, avoid eating sea mustard soup with anchovies, instead, pair it with oysters. Rather than flour-based dishes like noodles, opt for potato-based dishes. Lastly, don't mix sea mustard soup with vinegar, instead, combine it with onions to maximize flavor and health benefits. We hope you continue to enjoy the health benefits of sea mustard soup with the right food combinations. If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. Your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, May you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next time.